Hey guys, it's Gino here. We want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. Really quick, we just wanted to say that, you know, this video is not going to have the best audio or lighting in it, and we do apologize for that. We're working on getting better equipment, so bear with us. But yeah, enjoy the video. Really quick, he doesn't know that we're about to do this, but we're about to do an interview with my little brother, AJ, because this is such a huge, remarkable time. So if you guys don't know, it has been one full year since he's been collecting pops. So we're going to do a little bit of a interview with him real quick. Um, you guys, we have so much to show you. As you can see, this is my house. Um, this is my room, all my pops. We've got them all down there. We've got a couple over here, a couple over here. It's a work in progress. I had this all set up. Um, a while ago and then I just recently got more pops <clears throat> we have not been doing videos we have not kept up on this so there's so much content to come we're gonna start the interview with this guy I'm so excited oh nice shirt I, I absolutely love it I think it is hold on we got to show off this shirt I the lighting's the not that too. great so come over this way yeah. there we go let me see the socks so it's socks on the side oh. as his face there it is. Um, you can't kill the boogeyman. Yeah, it's the biggest caption for Halloween. got the pit going on. So, he has collected a plethora of horror category pops. I think I got him into it. It was kind of just like a thing that I bought him, but I think he went along with it. So, let's go ahead. So, Tuki. Yep. Or AJ. Now, you know, I got to call you AJ because you you're not a kid anymore. You whatever you want. I so, all right. So, it's been one year, one year since you started collecting pops. Yep. Do you have a favorite memory? A favorite memory was the first day when we were at C2V2. We were opening up those mystery boxes, and I pulled that black chrome Batman, and you were just livid that you did not get that Batman. Yeah. I mean, I was kind of jealous. I really was, but... Just the amount of luck that you had. You pulled three grails that day. You pulled the metallic Whis from Dragon Ball. You pulled the black chrome Batman. And then on top of that, you pulled a Freddy Funko. Yeah. And the guy couldn't even believe it. He was beside himself. Never opened up a mystery box before. Never done anything. Nope. So tomorrow we're doing mystery boxes. We're going to go live with the GoPro. I'm super excited. Super, super excited. It's going to be so much fun capturing oh, yeah. each other's reactions and everything and you know this it'll be live so all right so favorite memory was the first day collecting pops moving on to the second question all right do you have a favorite pop a favorite pop can you pick one? Oh, picking just one Ooh. if you had to pick one what's the first one that comes to mind um probably you know, I just I got a couple of new ones uh, just like two days ago. I went out to my my GameStop and I bought just a couple of new ones, and I found a Mr. Owl, and I just think it's so cool because it doesn't look like the generic standard like human kind of figure. It has like the it looks like the owl like in the commercials. I, I just okay, think that's really so cool. elaborate on the Mr. Owl because you didn't tell them exactly what it is. So, I know what you're talking about because you and I talked about this. Uh, the Mr. Owl pop is an ad icon that. Uh, it's from the Tootsie Roll commercials. Mm -hmm. The when, uh, Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pop, the Tootsie Roll Pops Yes, yes. Not to be confused with Pops. Mr. Owl. How we'll many have to... licks does it take to yeah. get to the center? One, two, a three. <laughs> the world may never know. They never did. It's just one of those things that, you know, you could literally recite it word for word because word. it's <laughs> just... Like we just did. Yeah, it's it, it's timeless. It really is. Mm. All right, so that's your favorite pop, though, out of all of them. Oh yeah, really? Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm I'm surprised a little bit, but that's you know. That's that. So I like I just like ones that look different because like yeah these all like they're all kind of human figure they all kind of look similar like in just I, design. I know so. Gossamer is pretty cool from Looney mm -hmm. Tunes. So um, all right. So with that said, is there a pop? that you don't have right now that you want to get. Now, what I mean by this is, you know, everybody wants the most expensive pop, this oh, and that. Yeah. What is your own personal grail? Like, what is one? It could, be, yeah. it could be expensive or whatever. I'm just putting it into perspective. That way you, yeah. you don't have to think like, 
oh, it's got to be the most expensive pop, like a clockwork orange one. Yeah. Like, let's be realistic. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, that could be a grail of yours, but what is your own personal grail? My own personal grail? Like, name, like, one or two. You don't have to name just one. You can name, like, one or two. So what's um, one pop you don't have yet that you want to get into your collection? Well, if we're going to go, like... So we're gonna go one that's like out like right now, one that's not like newly released yet. You could you could do whatever. You could yeah. do one that's I'm, coming I'm out. Do, I'm gonna do a mixture. So like there's one okay. that's like been out, like they're not I think they're, they're vaulted. But I really wanna get a uh, uh, I don't think I have a I don't have a Jason Voorhees yet. Really? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't. Okay. So any Jason Voorhees pop would okay. be because I, I need more. Like I need the the staple Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. I don't have I don't have him. I don't have the butcher, so. Well, I mean, maybe you'll find something that you like tomorrow. Maybe you'll maybe. purchase it. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see. They do have them. I know they do have them. Mm -hmm. Um, you do have some really good ones for horror, though. I'm really excited to definitely show them off oh, in your yeah. room because they it, they look great. They look absolutely great. So, um, all right. So we did that. Did that. Covered that. Where is your favorite? place to go pop hunting target or gamestop target or gamestop they have really good gamestop has actually been like really really fun really good it's been pretty good as of lately it's it's usually a good turnout we've found some pretty good stuff there so really good turnout okay um ah oh, let's see i had one more question oh tomorrow at c2e2 yep so what are you looking to buy, or what are you looking forward most to doing? For uh, just mystery boxes. Just the so, mystery boxes. They, so they were so good last year. I know. They were they're, so good. Sometimes they're not as good as you think they are, and you'll come to realize that, but it's just the fun of it. The mystery is the best part about it. Oh, and yeah. I don't know. There's just something. The mysteriousness and, and the unknown is just like, it's... The anticipation and the anxiousness mm -hmm. and it's just it's so much fun it is so much fun so all right well it's been a year since you've been collecting pops One year. if you could explain it in your own words what is collecting funko pops what does it mean to you um you know are you are you having fun with it are you looking to continue this you know let me let me find out what you're thinking all right so in my first year of collecting, I think, like, well, anything, like, seriously, like, my, and collecting anything seriously mm -hmm. was probably, I enjoyed it a lot. It was really fun going out and looking for stuff in stores, like, uh, doing pop hunting and all that kind of stuff was really fun. The mystery boxes were really good because you never know what's inside and, like, it, either, like, you like it or you don't, so, like, or you know where it's from and you're like, oh, like, I remember, like, the Brady Bunch or whatever. Like, just stuff like that's really fun. And it's just a way to, like, express yourself as a person. So, like, this is what I really like and, like, what I really enjoy. So, like, you can tell, like, just by looking at your room, like, Marvel, <laughs> DC are, like, very big parts of your life, so. Our channel is just, it's our own little thing. It's kind of a slice of life of me and Gino kind of just showing ourselves off with our pops and keeping you guys updated on what's going on, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to head off to sleep here. We're going to see you guys later in the car on our way to C2E2, and peace. Today is the day. It's C2E2 day. Um, I'm up. We're going to go wake up my little brother right now, AJ, and we're going to get him ready to go for the day. I'm super excited for the day. Can't wait to show you guys everything. And, yeah, so let's get started. Yeah, baby! Let's go! Let's go! It's C2E2 day, baby! Get up! Up, 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 and oh, at him! Get up, baby! Yeah, get up! Oh, Jesus. Get up! We up. And he's up. And I'm Alright, right, guys. We'll see you in the car. More coming later. The early birds get the pops, not the worms. Because we're getting those pops today. We're pulling something good. No worms, no dubs. See if you can. We're uh, gonna take a little bit of a break. So, but we'll see you guys uh, at the con. See you at the convention.
Oh, right. Where's he? On the catwalk, coming from the parking garage of the convention. As you can see, it's a cold day out here. No, oh, it's a beautiful day in Chicago. What are you talking about? It's beautiful. It's just <laughs> 27, 28 degrees outside. Yeah, it's it's freezing outside. It is freezing temperatures. Anything below 32, it's freezing. So <laughs> yeah. That would be politically correct. <laughs> Figuratively and literally. All right, we're going in. We are in the line. We are making progress towards the convention. There are so many people out here today. I mean, look at it. It is nuts. There are so many people. We got here, what, like 9 o'clock? We got here like 8.30, got in line around like 9. And we have been waiting for about an hour now. Not bad. It's the way to do it. And it filled up quick. It is absolutely insane. Chicago, you're fucking nuts. Everyone out here, it's absolutely crazy. There are but we so weren't many. swearing. What happened to that? We're changing it up now? Well, Really? I think the only time we should be allowed to swear is when we pop off. When we pop, rail, off. Rail, when we yeah. pop off. Well, like, well, just edit that up. Edit that up. We'll edit it out. We'll just put up. This is your second uh, C2E2. This is my third. I've never been to any other cons, so this is going to be interesting. Where's the Batman? Here, little guy. <laughs> Where's your Batman? Oh. did a lot better of a job this year of like being able to walk in. Last year it was so crowded. It was very, very crowded. Like, there's, a, there's a Captain America right there looking crazy. Here we are. Welcome to C2E2 2020. We made it. There's a stormtrooper. There's, there's a stormtrooper guarding the gates. And there it is. Looking incredible. Looking great. Hey guys, Austin here with a quick uh, collection tip. So if you're going to go to a convention, just make sure to bring at least one to two big like carry tote bags just in case when you buy a lot of things that you have enough room to carry them around with you easily around the convention. So you want to explain where you're going? Yeah, so we're uh, making our way right now to go over to the autograph line to meet Stephen Amell from the TV show Arrow. And... I'm going to have him sign this. The Oliver Queen part. So looking fresh. Yeah. We're on our way right now. Oh look, there's Gizmo right there. Do you have a gizmo? Yeah. I have a gizmo. You do have a gizmo? Yeah. Ooh, look at that alien. Oh, that's a really sick looking alien. I don't think I've ever seen the, the original. I've only seen the uh, the anniversary answer. one. Swamp thing? Those are really cool. The original Beetlejuice, not the the one with the the one from the new movie. The one with the, the new model, I mean. Cortex. Really nice, neat looking pops there. All right, so we met Stephen Amell. What did you think? You never really met anybody before. What did you think? Uh, it was definitely an experience, you know, like you're just kind of standing there and there's this, just this person there that like you know is like really famous and like they have all this stuff going on. You're just kind of, you're looking at them and you're like, they're just like a normal person, you know? I know, you know? I know. It's, like, it's, it's really it's, weird. It's crazy. So, really cool guy, really awesome guy. We didn't really get a chance to talk to him, but the guys before us were talking baseball and we're talking sports and whatnot with them. The kid before us too, like played hockey. So like, there's just a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, uh, someone's coming out right yeah, now. Someone's coming out. They're so, excited. but here it is. The pop is signed by Stephen Amell himself. If you guys have not had the chance to watch the the TV show, it's on Netflix. I highly recommend it. Awesome show, badass show. So, thank you, Stephen Amell. You're awesome. Now we're gonna go get these mystery boxes. It's a mystery box. Time. Time. That's cool. So Stephen Amell was like 70 Let's bucks for the autograph. And then we'll walk over. Um, worth every dollar. Worth every dollar. I've been watching the show since it came out. Um, just 
really awesome guy. Okay, really that awesome. Guy. Here's a little bit more of the con. A lot of people here. Oh, look at the baby Yoda. The crocheted baby Yoda. Oh, it's not baby Yoda. It's the child. I should have rephrased that. Ooh, iron fist. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Just a lot to look at, man. Heads on a swivel. Sensory overload. For sure. For sure. All right. So we're on our way. We're going to Undiscovered Realm, their booth. We're going to check out these mystery boxes, see what's popping. And hopefully... We strike gold. If we don't, well then we don't. <laughs> we nothing to really do about it. So. All right, we'll see you at Undiscovered Realm. We can see the boxes from here. That iconic yellow, yellow tape, and those brown, brown boxes. Just baller boxes. All right, you go first. Am I picking first? Oh, you go first. You pick yours. Yeah. 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 We have our boxes. You ready? Uh, you gonna open yours first, or you want me to open mine first? I'm gonna open. I'm gonna I'm gonna open. open. You, you both go. I got. Uh, I got both these on. There you go. All right. All right. So we have a raffle coupon right here. Yeah. Before look, before you look. This guy. You want to switch boxes? No. Not. All right. Oh, just like. Oh, you got one, G. I didn't get one. I think I know what that is. What is it? I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, um, mystery. Got it. Got it. All right. I have the, uh, diamond collection. You know, you got, you got the looks, got to change people. You ready? Round two. And we got you. Rounds two through nine for the mystery box are going to be shown later on in the video. So be sure to stick around to see what else we pulled. I'm looking for the Star Lord. 
but oh, no, it's going to be so hard to find her. <laughs> Get back. Oh. Oh, no. She's falling over again. Oh, look at her joker. Ooh. Which one don't you have? The black one? Yeah. Right? The black one? Uh-huh. We got Dragon Ball Z over here, the Human Torch, Flyboy Bard, Factory Boys, with the So that was the only thing That one's like really hard to find. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back and get that one. Let's go on the other side and see what we got. Yeah. The thing. Fantastic Four Pops. These look great, man. These look great. Yeah. Look at Zazu. Zazu is like, his beak is the size of the entire box. Angle. Brooklyn. There's the Zazu. Look at this Batman. Ooh. Yeah. Entertainment Earth exclusive Batman. Oh wow, it's like golden. San Diego Comic Con 50. Look at that. That's the two can. What Aquaman? Right here. Oh yeah. Entertainment Earth Aquaman. Howard as Batman. Cool Aid Magnet. A lot of cool ones. Rat food. Where's the... Oh, there's a Snoopy. I was looking for a Snoopy one. Holographic Kylo Ren? What? Wait. Yeah? When did that come out? Uh, no way. What? Force Ghost, basically, is what it is. That came out with a... With all the old it's stuff on the what, what does it say on the bottom? What year? Back on that holographic Kylo Ren. 2017. You know why? It was a pop team. 38 bucks. Wow. Alright, where are we going? There's a lot of Funko Pops. Yeah, we collect. A ton. All over our house. <laughs> They're fun to collect. All right. We're here. What? Oh wait, I see it. Do you want it? Go get it. They've got, they've got the Star Wars Celebration ones from last year. See Chewbacca, Yoda, Stormtrooper. Um, they've got the Hulk um, exclusive to Target. Tron. We're at the part with all the. Ooh, Audrey too. Sorry, I'm trying to do three things. I'm trying to keep everybody from bumping into these bags and whatnot. There's so many people here. So we're back. He found something. The Audrey two Little Shop of Horrors. Great pop. Do you have any from Little Shop of Horrors yet? Nope. Nice. Did you hear that they're remaking the movie? Uh, possibly Chris Evans in it. Uh, Taryn, Taryn Egerton or Egton? Egerton? I can't remember how to say his name. I, I, I'm so confused right now. I'm just like overwhelmed with the amount of people. So many people. Um, and Scarlett Johansson. So nice. This poor guy. This poor guy in Aladdin, and I feel terrible for him. We're gonna take a break right now, you guys. There's just so much going on there and try to figure out something a little bit better. There he is. We got the man carrying the pops in that clutch noodles bag. That I thing. tell you, walking around yesterday with these all throughout the con, <laughs> I thought my arms would be dead. They're actually not that bad today, but. You're walking through spaces about half the width of that hallway right there. People bumping into People you. People all around you. It's trying, definitely a oh my god, it was crazy. <laughs> all right, guys. 
So we're back at my little brother Austin's house. Awesome convention. I had a great time. Really quick, we just wanted to show you what we both got. He's going to go out and go first. We were really bummed last year that we weren't able to capture any footage or anything of us going to C2E2 last year. So we're so excited to show you guys this stuff. Here he is first. All right, hey guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got from... Uh, it's a little mixture of what we got from the convention and kind of what me and my brother were doing a little bit of trading yesterday and last night. So Yesterday... Kind of we pulled off the blockbuster trade of all trades. Oh yeah, we traded we traded some big boy big boy pops. So <laughs> yeah, uh, it's gonna be a little mixture of some of his older stuff that he gave to me and some newer stuff that me and him both got from the convention. So we're just gonna go through it all and show you guys what we got. So here we got a Fallout Four pop, the uh, Nerd Rage. Really cool looking there. Here we got a Hot Topic exclusive, uh, Kurt Cobain. Nirvana, one of my favorite kind of post-grunge bands. Here we have a Warhammer 40k, uh, Space Wolves pack leader. He's really, he's actually a little bit, he's a little heavier than normal. Yeah, he reminds me of the Hulk from Ragnarok. Yeah, they, they're like that really big kind of mold. Bulky. Mm -hmm. uh, Marvel 80 year. Uh, Iceman, looking really, really good. It's probably one of my favorite pops that they made this year. It looks so good. Uh, another Fallout 4. Uh, Vault Dweller, the uh, male version. And an ad icon, uh, <laughs> the, the Green Giant. Uh, now I just gotta get Sprout. I just gotta get Sprout so I have the whole collection there. Mm. All right, so out of those six, do you have any uh, favorites? Out of just these first six, probably my favorite. Uh, I would uh, I would go Iceman, but honestly, the ad icons just look so cool, and I love that uh, they're just they're like really iconic looking characters, and being able to have miniature versions of them that honestly they just look so good that I just you, you can't not like them. All right, so on to the next six here. We got my first uh, sports player pop. I didn't uh, know that. Dylan Larkin. Great place to start. <laughs> One of my favorite players, favorite hockey teams of all time. Honestly, just really cool pop. Uh, we got some Fortnite pops. Honestly, not really huge into Fortnite. Like, I don't hate it. I'm not, like, against it or whatever, but never really got into it when it was real popular, so. They're cool to have. They look really, really good, but not a huge fan of Fortnite. So we got a couple of these ones here. We have Dark Voyager. We have Omega here. And uh, one more. We have uh, Cuddle Team Leader. We got another one in there, too. Oh, yeah, I just saw we have four here. I thought I only had three. I'll just grab that one. And uh, the uh, Love Ranger. And we've got another one. And another one left? Yep. You have to find him now. I, I guess I have more than I thought I did. Yeah, oh, you got another boy. one. Boy. So go ahead and look. Maybe. I'll just show these off real quick. Getting a miniature collection here. Hold on. You'll, once you find it. Oh, here, like, this is right here at the top. I did have this one. I remember, I thought, I thought yeah. this was one that you had, but I guess we both pulled it. So. Yeah, we both got it. There you go, just starting off a little miniature Fortnite collection here today. Got five of them. Any favorites out of these? Out of these? I mean, I don't even think it's a fair choice. These ones kind of got screwed over, so this one is like obvious. I think this is one of my favorites I got out of the entire, my entire collection. Just because I love Dylan Larkin. I love the Red Wings, so it's a perfect mixture. All right. All right, we got the next couple ones coming out here. Uh, we got some big ones coming up soon, but we're gonna try to save those ones till near the end of what we're doing here. A pop from uh, Community, Ben Chang. I've never actually watched Community. I know that it's uh, it's similar to 
like Parks and Recreation. So like, I I know I like that show, so I, I probably like it. I just I have to start watching it. Here we have the Disney Genie with uh, the lamp. I actually have the uh, the diamond collection of this one, the one that's all glittery. So I think this one's gonna look really really cool next to that one. Here we have Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 4. Have you seen that yet? I have not seen Toy Story 4. It was not too bad, but it wasn't mm. the greatest movie. That, I, that's what I've heard from a lot of people I've talked to about it. They said, eh, it was a good movie, but like not a good Toy Story movie. Especially compared to all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Dragon Ball Z. We got Vegeta when he's uh, training. I think a lot of people will like this one. A lot of people will probably enjoy it. Uh, almost all of the Dragon Ball Z pops are really, really well received. And I honestly, I, I've never really watched too much of the show. I know, like, the basic premise of it, but never really, really got into it. I just think it looks super cool. This one's cool. Here we got a AAA anime exclusive Super Saiyan Vegito. Looking really, really cool. Yeah, once again, I mean, Dragon Ball Z seems to be really, really popular. Oh, it's probably one of the most popular animes of all time. And uh, a pop television from Big Bang Theory. Bernadette, not even going to try to pronounce that last name. Rustin Kowski? I think that's like that. how you pronounce it. I don't know. I don't watch the show. I know Sheldon. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> you, you don't like all the memes about the show, but you never actually watch it. Yeah. I just like how Sheldon likes The Flash. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, Any favorites from this? From these three... Probably the uh, Super Saiyan Vegito. I think he looks really, really, really good, yeah. We have a champion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it seems that he's found another Fortnite pop. Yes, yeah, so I was digging through here. I thought five was going to be the limit, but here we go. Number six, the uh, the Bright Bomber. So, oh my god, out of that, I have almost, I have half of the entire series in one day. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens. I mean, that's what happened with me at the convention last year. A lot of the it pops. Mm -hmm. so. I, Fortnite is just super popular, and I guess they just made a lot of them, too. Yeah. Uh, the Goofy from Monsters, Inc. Uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm -hmm. Never got into Kingdom Hearts. I think I was just I wasn't old enough at the time when all the games were coming out to actually play them. But I just think it, I think it looks super cool. I love Goofy, so... It works. Uh, Captain Marvel from Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Looking... Marvel as herself. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Marvel. Yep. Looks pretty good. I like this one. I uh, but I think the one I really like is the. I think it's a chase. It's the suit where oh, it's all lit up. Yeah. Right? Well, I I have the neon. I think one. that. Oh, you do have the neon one. I do. Yeah. Oh, the, okay. the one where she has the. Uh, uh, her like army stuff on oh. in, her, in her jacket like, her, her, her jacket. bomb her uh, bomber jacket yeah yeah that it looks so good I don't think it's a bomber jacket I think it's um it's a flight um I can't think of the name right I now. don't know what the name is but it she has some, some agreed kind of military looking stuff on it I do agree really oh here's another one that I know Howard the Big Bang Theory Howard Howard Wallowitz in the space suit he is pretty funny yeah. I from like what the, I've seen, the one episode where they like have control of a Mars rover, and he like only it crashes it <laughs> while he was supposed to be taking care of it because he like invites him and uh, Rod invite women to like oh yeah like I control the space from the Mars space rover and then they like crash it oh like God. millions of dollars. It was pretty funny. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Goku at the twenty eighth World Tournament. Looks pretty good, really, really, really good. I like the blue. And I think just blue in like Dragon Ball Z pops looks always looks really, really good. It's a weird blue. I don't even know what kind of color that is. That's like a. It's like a. It's it's kind of like a cyan, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's like close to that. I don't know the exact like terminology. It's not like say. it's not like that kind of blue like above your head right there. Yeah, it's a little. It's even like lighter than that. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's almost like that laundry basket over there. Yeah, like, it's kind of like the way the way the light hits it just makes it look different. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, another television show, The Umbrella Academy. Another one that I've never seen. There were a bunch of them yesterday. Yeah. It looks really good. It looks really really cool though. I like the the eyes. 
Yeah. Like with the, like the eye the mascara. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. I don't know shit about makeup. Well, mascara is the stuff for your eyelashes. It's the eyeliner that goes around your eyes. Oh, see, I don't know. I only know that because <laughs> Faith is here all the time. And she's always doing her makeup, so uh, you kind of learn through osmosis. I don't know anything about makeup. All right, any favorites out of here? Any I think the Fortnite one is definitely ruled out. Yeah, the, well, Fortnite is just always not my favorite. Like, I, I just can't get into it. Um... Out of this one, probably the Captain Marvel is mm. probably one of my favorite ones. Interesting. I just, I like the, uh, just the hair thing is really cool. The detail they get in the hair is really nice. Like the, uh, they have the one with like the mohawk. Like they mm -hmm. showed the suit on. I think that one looks really, really cool. Mm -hmm. But here we got, uh, just another common, just a Squirtle. But, first uh, Pokemon. My first Pokemon. The best Pokemon. <laughs> Gia. Yeah, I know. She'd probably fight me on that and one. Gia's either. got Charmander. Yeah. Can you put it up here? Oh, you want? yeah. Right now. Uh, okay. So, yeah, there's like what? There's Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu, Eevee. Oh, what they have out? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's that. There's Cubone, Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. They do Mr. Mime. Ones. Um. They have a lot of them. Yeah, um, hold on. Um. Mm, there's like another one that I'm thinking of. I don't know if they have Cubone or not. I know they have Mewtwo, Mr. Mind. There was more that they're making. Um, one that'll be really cool once they make it. Um, hold on, continue, because I, I just lost my train of thought. Alright, so here we got another Dragon Ball Z pop. Oh! This is one of Gino's girls. That looks familiar. That we, that we <laughs> traded for. That uh, he gave to me, so I would trade away my uh, pop. You'll see very, very shortly when he uses his. But uh, Toy Tokyo exclusive uh, Gold Chrome Super Saiyan Vegeta. So the thing about anything pop, um, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan. I've never watched it. Maybe one day I'll watch it. Who knows? But the one thing about pops, when they're chrome, they pop. I mean, they just, oh, yeah. they, they just, so good. they just, there's something about it, and maybe I'll try to get it a better, I might have to take this out of the box, who knows, but mm -hmm. you're good, you don't got to take it out right now, one day we'll do it, I'm sure. All right, what else you got in that bag of tricks over and there? And probably one of my favorite pops from this entire adventure we had, that of course I do not have the luck of opening, but had the luck of being able to trade for is bum, 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 Silver bum, Chrome bum. All Might. This thing is probably anybody that likes anime or likes the show, this is probably the top grail for them, I think. I, I, I don't even know what this is, to be honest. I have no idea. I, I've, I know of the show. I know what it's about. I've just never watched it. And I feel like it's going to be something that I watch very, very shortly. I do have to admit, though, the entire box is detailed. Like, all the lettering. Like, right all here, when you spin it, here, spin it again. See how it's, like, giving off that foil look? I love the box. I the, Funko needs to make more black and gold boxes. They look so, so clean. It looks so good. Agreed. Like, all of the new Batman 80th anniversaries that are black and they gold. They look great. I honestly, the boxes are almost better than the pops inside. Like they just look so good. Mm. Almost, I said almost. <laughs> I said almost. All right. So, with that said, how many did you get? You got six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Is that twenty-seven pops? Uh, yeah, three, six. That's twelve. That's twenty-four. Yeah. That's quick math, baby. Quick math. All right. Is that it? Is the bag empty? That bag is empty. Oh my goodness. All right, and then I'm not even going to ask you what your favorite is of this yeah, one. You've, they, already, you've already said it. They're so. all, they're right here. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's do a final of where we show what you got. All right, so it's kind of hard to see. but It's hard to do this from the floor. Once we go up, it'll be a lot easier. I'm just going to go up. Over, up, uh. 
All right. Nice haul. Oh, it's so good. And you're going to have to figure out how to put this all in your room now. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. We have room, baby. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I ended up getting yesterday. Uh, some of the stuff I've already had, I just got some of it signed, autographed. First and foremost, I want to take the time to say thank you to C2E2 for another awesome convention. This is my third time going, his second. And uh, also to Undiscovered Realm. They are the best comic book, pop, uh, toy experience you guys could ever imagine. They are in, based in New York. This is the third time I've actually bought stuff from them. I buy stuff from them every convention. I've got some of my friends hooked on them. If you guys ever get the chance, check them out. They're the best customer service, best everything. Best experience in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh. Got to do these guys first just like he did because I cannot stay in Fortnite. Um, did yours go in the dark? Uh, I have no idea if mine does or not. I don't okay. think we checked. So we got the Dark Vanguard, Fortnite. I don't think mine does. I think mine has a different box. Okay. Havoc, Fortnite. You've already seen this. This is the same thing as him. I'm just getting rid of them. We'll go ahead and move on to the only Star Wars pop that I got. This is Princess Leia. This is when she's in Endor. And the box is actually not clean. Boxes look really loose. It's weird. Really good pop. We'll go ahead and keep the Disney theme. So I got the same thing as him as well. Goofy from Monsters Incorporated. Um, Kingdom Hearts. Um, going back here. We got Firefighter Mickey. From Mickey the True Original 90 Years collection. I want to say I have another pop from that series. I just don't remember which one it is. We got Bo Peep from Toy Story. This is just another um, another another model that they made. They made one for Toy Story 4 and Toy Story. I don't know if they made another one, like an older one, but this is the newer model. Um, I do have Mrs. Nesbitt. And then another pop that my little brother got me. Is she, what is she doing in there? Yzma from Demper's New Groove. So... Thank you. Is she holding the vial? She is. Mm -hmm. I just noticed that too. That's hilarious. <laughs> Those teeth, though, baby. Alright, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, favorite out of this? Mm, I don't know. Can't really pick. The Mickey's really good. Um, either between Mickey, Princess Leia, and Yzma. So I don't really have a favorite. I can't name one. So. Alright, next six. Hello everyone. I know you're probably tired of me stopping the video, but this time is for a very good cause. We're just taking this time to make fun of the fact that I love the word all right, and I say it more than I need to. So here you go. Have a good laugh. Alright, so one of the things that Funko has done really well is with music. Not only have they done a lot of licensing with you know different pop stars and celebrities and everything they just started this brand new thing called pop albums so the first one that they did was Biggie the Notorious B.I.G where you know the album is the baby and uh, they're talking about being able to make it where you can hang it on your wall like an actual like vinyl album so pretty neat um, keeping with that theme we're gonna go ahead with music so we're gonna go with the first kiss pop that I've ever gotten it's the demon it's Gene Simmons. Really well done, Pop. Keeping with the music theme again, we got Andy Summers from The Police. And we'll move on to this guy. First ever WWE pop. It's so weird saying that. I grew up when it was WWF, but then the Wild World Wildlife uh, Foundation took over the panda bears. Mm -hmm. But I don't mind it. You know, it doesn't bother me. Uh, this is Elias. I don't know anything about wrestling anymore. I used to watch it as a kid. I had some of the figurines growing up, but I just don't watch it anymore. So couldn't really tell you much about this. Who this guy is? Nothing. Sorry. Um. 
we'll go ahead and go with these guys. So here's another one that I'm just looking at the like you see the the molding right here, the plastic molding around his fist. Yeah. I wonder what that is. I don't know. I don't know. But this is Vegeta training. You guys already saw this. You don't have to look at it too much because you already seen it. But there's another one. That's the Goku. This one though, he did not get. I got. This is a specialty series. This is Master Roshi. So I see a trade coming in the near future because oh, he was eyeballing yes. this one. That one looks so good. Yeah. So like I said, I don't know much about Dragon Ball Z. I can't really tell you guys much about it. I get some of these pops only because of the mystery boxes. They do look cool, though. Um, but favorite one from this one is Kiss. It's Gene Simmons, the demon. It just looks really well done. I mean, they got the tongue down and everything. So on to the next six. All right, first one, we're going to start with the television series. Once again, we got another pop, the same kind. This is Vanya. I think that's how you say your name. I don't know. Or Vanya. One of those I, two. I'm not sure. The Umbrella Academy. I've heard a lot about it. I'm actually uh, really wanting to start watching it, but the problem is, is I watch too many... She Blah. Holy crap, I can't talk. The problem is, is I watch too many TV shows at once, and I forget about what's going on in every single one of them, and then I forget where I left off. So, I'm not going to start that until I finish. We'll go ahead and show you the Pugsley Adams that I got from the Adams family. This is the TV show Pops, not the new movie that just came out. Uh, keeping with the theme of that, you have to have Uncle Fester. So, I was very fortunate to get these. Um, kind of grew up watching the, the, um, the TV show sometimes when it was on, and the older movie. So, always creep me out, though. Um, this one's actually really, really cool. I never really watched it or anything, but this is Tigra from the Thundercats. So, special these series. Um, like I said, I never really watched the Thundercats or anything. It's total 80s stuff. But cool nonetheless. Here's something that's very iconic. The Simpsons, the longest running TV show on air to date. Um, this is obviously Maggie Simpson, the baby. Um, yeah, I mean, just iconic for sucking on a pacifier and making the noise. The last one I got is I also got a community pop, like he got one, except I got Shirley Bennett. And I can't really tell you anything about community other than the fact that Chris Pratt's in it. So, that's it. Uh... Favorite one from this one, I think I'm going to have to go with Tigra. It's just got the most detail in it. Um, Funko just does a great job of detail. So yeah, on to the next six. We're getting closer to the grails. All right, moving on to the movies section. Men in Black, Agent K, and Meebo. This is from the first movie, so that would be Tommy Jones' character. Classic movie. Right here you got Chuck Nolan and Wilson. Can't forget about Wilson. I was extremely happy to get that in the mystery box from Castaway. Alright, sticking with the Tom Hanks vibe. You got Josh Baskin when he's dancing on the piano. Probably one of the most iconic scenes from the movie. Um, you got Al Cervic from Caddyshack. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have not seen this movie. I know I'm gonna get a lot of, yeah. I know, I know. You have not seen this movie? I know. It's so good. I know. I um, I do have to watch it. There's so many movies I still have not seen. Like, I've seen Big, I've seen Castaway, I've seen Men in Black. Big, it's been a long time since I've seen, but I'm not going to lie, I have not seen Caddyshack. I've heard very good things about it. The Gopher is supposed to be hilarious. So, one day I'll watch it. Here is the new Pennywise. Pops from It, Chapter 2. 
Really well done movie. I've already got a couple of them, I just don't have this one yet, so I'm happy to add it to the collection. Here is a How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. I believe this is the last movie in the series. This is the Light Fury, which is different from the Dark Fury, which is what Toothless is. Um, this is my sister's favorite movie series. I've only seen the first one, so I've never seen this movie. I don't know what it's like. And then, I know we've been doing six, but I'm going to go ahead and add one more. My favorite movie out of this entire thing. Not of all time, but it's definitely up there. It's top five easily. This is Hannibal Lecter from The Silence of the Lambs. Um, just yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in that kind of left back corner, he's actually uh, holding the uh, police baton that he uses to uh, oh, yeah. beat those cops. <laughs> It's a very, it's just a very, very good movie. Um, if you guys have never watched it, I definitely recommend it. Just the acting in it is top notch from Anthony Hopkins himself, and just incredible acting enough to give you nightmares. So, here's the back of the box where they got the movie cover on it. Just an absolutely iconic movie. Great movie. Super, super excited to add this one because Anthony Hopkins is one of my favorite actors. So, um, yeah. I think we've got a couple more and then we're on to the Grails. Okie dokie. We are moving on to the Marvel part of this video. This is Black Widow. This is from Avengers Endgame. I didn't really start collecting the Endgame pops until I was gifted one by my sister, Thanos. <clears throat> so... I still have to collect a lot of these. And with that said, here is the Captain Marvel Endgame Pop. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. They're all over the place. Target, Walgreens, Walmart, Barnes & Noble, um, GameStop. So they're all over the place. They were very predominantly taking over stores when the movie came out. And I think they're on like the third or fourth wave of the figures. So they're very strong. They're going to continue going. My favorite that they've made is the Venom, the Venomized Pops. So this is the Venomized Groot. I don't think I have anything else from this part of the series. I have more of the older ones, so like the Captain America, the Iron Man, the Hulk. Um, I think that's it. But So this is really cool to add. Very happy to add this one. My personal favorite that I really wanted to get for a while is this Ronin from Captain Marvel. Uh, this is a specialty series. I just love the coloring on the pop. I mean, it's just very, very well done. Um, I really want to take this out of the box one day, which I don't ever do. I can't stand taking pops out of boxes, but just the coloring on this is so well done. It's, it's phenomenal. And yeah, that's basically it for that. So, as you guys know, my little brother and I made a huge trade yesterday. Um, pops exchanged back and forth. Like, I got this one from him, I got this and that, blah, blah, blah. So the pop that I was given was the Black Chrome Batman. This is a 2017 Fall Convention exclusive. can't remember. I think it's exclusive to New York Comic Con. I don't remember off the top of my head. But this is a shared exclusive. Um, I don't remember where, where it was shared to, but very excited to add this. Um, I've been collecting Batman Pops like crazy as of uh, recently, mostly the 80 year ones. So, unfortunately, the Red Ranger was not at the convention yesterday. I brought it just in case he was there because last year he was there and we didn't know. So this was just in there. I didn't really purchase this. I've already had that for a while. Speaking of the Power Rangers, though, here's a grail. That would be Tommy Oliver, the Green Ranger, as you might know him. This is Jason David Frank's actual signature on both the side and the front window. Very, very nice guy. Probably took, like, what, two hours in line to meet him. Oh, yeah. Uh, just a stand-up guy. Uh, I told him a little funny story about how when I was younger, I was not allowed to watch this stuff. My mom just thought it was too violent or whatever the reason was so I would have to sneak off and actually go watch this stuff and he thought that was absolutely hilarious so um, 
Austin St. John is the only one left that I have to meet for the Power Rangers, and then I've got all of them signed. So I've already met the black, yellow, oh, I'm sorry, not the yellow, the black, the blue, the pink, the green, the last one would be the Red Ranger, as unfortunately the Yellow Ranger died in a tragic car accident years ago. So rest in peace to Tui. All right. The other one that I got signed yesterday that I'm really, really proud of and happy with is the Stephen Amell signature for Oliver Queen from the TV show Arrow. This is just a fantastic, fantastic signature. Probably the most unique signature I've ever seen in my life. If you guys cannot tell, this is his signature right here, and then he drew an arrow right here at the end. So um, when he did it, I kind of let out like a really faint giggle, and it was just, I was just, I, I really didn't know what to say other than the fact, you know, thank you, love the TV show, and he was just a really nice guy, you guys. Um, if Steven ever gets the chance to watch this, I want to say thank you to him because he did such an outstanding job yesterday of waiting for everyone and the patience he had with people. There were so many people that were in wheelchairs with disabilities and everything, and he took so much time to thank the family and say hello to everybody and whatnot. So, Steven, you are the best. Seriously. Um, the, the other grail that I pulled from the mystery box uh, yesterday... I didn't give this one away or trade it away to him. I kept this one. So this is going to be Kevin Smith. This is Jay and Silent Bob's secret stash. So, from uh, Comic Book Men. So, there it is right there. There's four pops, all in protectors. Two of them signed. One acquired through a trade. One through a mystery box. Super duper excited to add these to the collection. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the video here. Um, that was it. That was our haul. That's my haul. We're very, very excited to show you guys um, our rooms, right? Oh, yeah. So not this video, but coming up very soon, we're going to show you guys our rooms, our collections, what's in them, and... It's just going to keep going from there. This channel is going to continue to grow. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, we popped off, baby. All right, so that's it. You guys saw what we got from the con. Um, first off, I want to thank you guys for watching this, taking the time out of your day. Um, we really appreciate it. This is just something that I have, you know, been doing over the past couple of years. And I got him in on it. And I think he's, you know, getting to the point where I am, where, you know, he's finding a love for it in a different sense. So it's really cool to watch him, you know. Um, ouch. Sorry. I was, like, sitting on my foot. This was honestly just a lot of fun to make. Not only in the fact that, of course, I got to do what I love doing, going out, Funko Pop hunting, getting really, really cool stuff, getting cool stuff from him, finding cool stuff in mystery boxes and all of that stuff just alone by itself, but also being able to make YouTube videos, produce content that you guys are going to enjoy all the time, know that you guys are going to like it. It, honestly, this is really, really life-changing for me. I've, I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel, always wanted to do this kind of thing, but I never really could find something that I really enjoyed doing that wasn't, uh, like, that wasn't, like, unique. So this is... This is just everything I've ever wanted. Ever, ever since I started collecting about a year ago, this is what I've been dreaming of. And So we want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you know whenever we upload next. It's not going to be over nine months like last time. I swear we'll have a video up by at least probably even next week at the latest. We should definitely just call this a baby because it took nine months to come out. It really did. This <laughs> is... This is <laughs> This is, this is the second baby. This, yeah. There was the first one, and then we had to wait another nine months for this one. So uh, next time, we're going we're gonna to hit the fast track. We're going to hit the road, make this video up really quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment down below of what your favorite pop was in this video. Yeah. Or your favorite pop that you have in your collection that we don't have. 
because we want to see what you guys are collecting as well. Yeah. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, next time, we pop off. Oh, I got a stretch.